Hey, how's it going everyone? MLT Magic Tricks here. So today we are going to get right into the performance of this really awesome card trick. I would begin by showing my spectator that we're using 12 random cards from the deck. I would hand these over to my spectator and let them shuffle up the pack as much as they like. Once they are done, I would have my spectator choose a card. Let's say they select this one. Now for the trick, I would just have my spectator look at the card. So I'm just going to be showing you the selection. Uh, once they have remembered the card, I would tell them we're gonna go ahead and just get this card lost somewhere uh, into the middle of the pack of cards here. So I uh, will also give these a quick mix up just to lose the card that my spectator chose, you know, into the middle of this small pack. It will even give the pack some cuts. From here, what I'm gonna do is reverse some cards in the pack. So I'm just gonna turn some cards face up and keep others face down. So I'll go ahead and spread through the pack and do that right now. As you can see, we have face down cards and face up cards amongst this small packet. At this point, I would hand these cards over to my spectator and give them some instructions as to what they're gonna do with the cards. I would tell them to first cut the pack in half wherever they like. So at this point, my spectator would be holding the cards. They would cut the deck and complete it wherever they like right here. And then I would tell them to turn over the top two cards where they cut just like that. Now, I would ask them to do this as many times as they like. It's completely up to my spectator. They can, you know, cut as many or as little times as they like, but I would make sure they still turn over the top two cards each time. They can even turn the pack over and do this so they can keep performing the move just like this. So let's say the spectator stops right here. Now I would tell them to deal out these cards into four piles on the table. So I would have them deal out each card one at a time like this. So after my spectator is done dealing out each card, the last thing I would have them do is turn over each pack of cards one at a time. They can start from uh, the left or the right. It's up to them. Let's say my spectator starts here. This is how it's gonna look. I could even give them a little demonstration. So they're gonna take these cards and just turn them on top of the other. They're gonna take all of these, turn them on top of the next pile and complete it for the last one just like that. So after my spectator has done is done turning over um, you know, each pile of cards to collect them all in this packet. I would remind my spectator they uh, had a free selection at the start of this trick. They, you know, cut the pack as many times as they liked during that part of the performance. And we ended with uh, the pack squared up just like this. Now, all I have to do is shake the cards, spread them out on the table, and you will notice there is one face down card out of the entire pack. And this card should be the spectator selection, the eight of diamonds. So guys, that is the card trick. If you want to learn how to perform it, make sure you watch the tutorial. Okay, so this is a really clever card trick that is quite easy to perform. This one should definitely be in your routine. Uh, credit to con tricks for this effect. Uh, so grab your deck of cards, guys, and let's get right into the tutorial. All you're gonna need is 12 cards. So just take out your deck, remove any 12 cards uh, you like. It does not matter, it's completely up to you. Once you have removed your cards, uh, you are ready to go. So you can go up to your spectator and just show them that all of these cards you know, are random and you can hand them over uh, to the spectator and let them give the cards a mix up. So this is a no setup trick, which is really great. After your spectator is done shuffling the cards, you are gonna have them make a selection. They can take out any one they like. When they take out the card, just have them look at it. You do not need to see it, but for the tutorial, we'll look at it together. So in this case, we have the King of Diamonds. Now, what you need to do here is get their card into the second position from the top of the deck. While your spectator is looking at and memorizing their card, you can just get a pinky break below the top card like that. So you can push over, pull back, get that pinky break. Once you are holding the break, you tell them, okay, we're gonna go ahead and get your card lost into this pack. You act like you're pushing it in the middle there so you can out, out jog some cards and then just slide it into the gap there right below uh, the top card. So you can kind of push down, kind of create that little shadow there to make it believable yet you're pushing it in the middle. You just do it quick. It will be convincing that you're losing the card in the middle of the pack, but in reality, you have it in the second position from the top. 
At this point, you need to keep the card there so you can do some false shuffles. I like to turn the cards face up like this, slide off some, and then just take the uh, bottom portion, bring it right there to the top. So I'm keeping the King of Diamonds in the second position from the top. You can do this a couple times. It just makes it seem like you're shuffling the deck, but in reality, you are keeping your their selection where you need it. You can also do some false cuts. It's a little hard with this small pack, but you guys can do you know a false cut like that. I'll leave a link on the screen right now if you wanna learn some, but it's not mandatory. Just make it seem like you're mixing up uh, the pack, but in reality, you have control of their selection. From here, the cards are still going to be in your hands at this point. You're gonna tell your spectator that you are going to reverse some cards in the pack. So you're gonna spread through, you're gonna count in your head to the fourth card from the top. So you're just spreading over one, two, three, four. You're gonna turn this card face up first, just like that. And then from here, you're going to turn every other card face up. So you're pushing over one, turning the next one face up, sliding over a card, turning the next one face up. And you're just gonna continue this process until you get to the end, it's not gonna take very long. You're just telling your spectator you're turning some cards face up and keeping others face down. So this is how it should look. The fourth card is now face up, and then after that, you are keeping a face down card, then reversing the next one. You're gonna follow this pattern throughout. So once you get to the end, the bottom card should be face up, so that's how you know you did it, did it right. Um, at this point, you are gonna hand the pack over to your spectator and give them the instructions as to what they're gonna do. Make sure you are clear, it's quite simple as to what uh, they are doing with this pack. You're just gonna tell them, you're gonna go ahead and cut the cards wherever you like, complete the cut, and then turn over the top two cards. You honestly, guys, can do that first if you want in your hands and then hand the deck over, but it does not matter. You can do it either way. Your spectator can be the first one that cuts the cards and then does the move. The trick will still work. Just make sure your spectator is doing this right because if they don't, the trick won't work. So they're just cutting, then turning over the top two. You know, they're continuing this process. And make sure, guys, they're reversing, completely turning over these cards no matter if they're face up or face down. So just make sure they are completely flipping over the top two cards. You can even tell them, Okay, after you've done that a couple times, go ahead, turn the pack over, and just do the same thing. So they are continuing this process. They can do it as many times as they like. Once your spectator is done, uh, make sure you are keeping aware of where they stop. So you cannot have them stop on a cut. You need to have them finish by t reversing the top two cards. And then wherever they stop, you are good to go. So after they're done, you're going to tell them, okay, go ahead and deal out the 12 cards into four piles on the table. Just have them deal off cards one at a time like this into each pile. They can go from left to right or right to left. And here's what we're left with, guys. You will notice each pile here is going to contain three cards and they're all going to either be face up or face down except for one pile. So you'll notice here this pile has one you know, mismatched card and every single time this card, if it's face up or face down, will be their selection. So you can see here we have the King of Diamonds. It's in this third pile from the right on the top. Sometimes, you know, it might be on the bottom. It also might be on, you know, the bottom in a pile on the end. I'll explain how to deal with that in just a sec, but you will notice here, uh, this is what uh, the effect looks like. It's just a self-working one that's really cool. You're gonna end in this position. Then you're gonna tell your spectator, okay, you dealt out the cards on the table. What I want you to do is start from the left or the right and just turn over each pile. So it does not matter which side they start on. Let's say uh, the spectator starts over here. You're gonna tell them, okay, go ahead and take these cards and just turn them onto the next pile. You can do this if you want, or you can have your spectator do it. Just make sure you are clear on the instructions. So we're gonna turn those over. You're gonna tell them, okay, go ahead and pick up all these cards and do the same thing. Just flip them over on top of this pile like that. You're gonna have them finish it just like so. And boom, after they have done that each time, you will see here, there's only gonna be one face down card in uh, the pack and it is going to be their selection. So I will explain how to deal with one other thing in this trick in just a second, but to finish off the effect, you tell them, okay, watch this, all I have to do is shake the cards. You can give them a recap of what you did. You started with the shuffle deck, they did all those cuts, and one face down card is in the middle and it is their selection. So I wanna talk about something really quick that may happen after your spectator deals out um, the cards into the four piles. So like I said, you're gonna have some piles being all face up, some being all face down. And it may happen where your spectator's card is on the end here, and I will show you how to deal with that. So let's say it's on the end, you know, on this end or this one, they do the thing where they turn over the cards and the and the spectator selection, see it's, it's on the bottom there. And obviously if you spread out the cards like this, it's not gonna look that good considering it's just on the end. So if that happens, all you have to do, guys, is tell your spectator just to give the deck one 
final cut like that. You can give the Packer cut wherever they want. So you get their card in the middle and then boom, you spread it out. And now their selection is more in the middle. So it looks better. You're obviously going to be able to see, uh, you know, if that happens, it's only going to take place if their selection, you know, is on the bottom on, on one of the end packets there. So just keep an eye on that. You know, it may happen. It may not, but it's really not that big of a deal. You just have them give the pack a cut and it will work. So that is the trick guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely give this one a try. It's quite easy to perform and we'll get some great reactions. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Peace out.